When I was growing up, there was just the radio and TV to get your news and entertainment. Well, maybe movies and newspapers. But fast forward to just a few years ago and podcasts begin to take root. And man, there is a podcast for every topic under the sun. I have an awesome golden retriever named Cooper. I have an Apple Watch and I have Apple AirPods. And this is about the best combination ever. Now, I listen to podcasts when I walk Cooper and we walk every day. Podcasts are awesome. Roll the intro. Hi, my name is Rich. As best I can, I've been releasing videos on Fridays for seniors and beginners on how to use their iPhone and iPad. Simple stuff, really. Basic videos. Videos designed to help you actually get started as opposed to videos that make you want to give your iPad away or worse yet, just toss it into the garbage can. If you're looking for a YouTube channel with easy to follow videos, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, you'll find a great community of engaged folks learning together. So today's video is all about Apple Podcasts. If you don't know what a podcast is, it's an audio program, kind of like an old time radio show. Podcasts cover a huge range of topics. You can download them to your iPad and listen at your leisure. And today, I'm gonna show you how to navigate the podcast app, how to search for a podcast and add it to your library or follow it, how to unfollow a podcast or remove it from your library, how to save a podcast for later listening, and then lastly, how to manage settings for each podcast. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is how to navigate the podcast app. First thing you do is you actually open it, and it's this little icon right here, this little purple icon with circles and a person in the middle of the circles. So you tap on it, and down at the bottom, you'll notice some icons here that you can use to navigate around. But right when you open it, you typically it typically lands on Listen Now. And you can just immediately begin listening to a podcast that's in here. These are podcasts that Apple is promoting. You can also browse for podcasts, and you can do this by top shows and top episodes and news and just things like that. Um, kind of like this. There's topics, Oscars, movie night, patch notes, top trailers. There's just all kinds of things that you can just sort of browse your way around and look at. Then there's also your library and here you can see I don't have any shows in my library yet. I'll show you how to add that in just a second. But as you build up a library this is where your podcast will land. And lastly, you can search for a podcast by tapping on search, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But that is how you get around the podcast app. You can listen, browse, library, or search. Just like that. So the next thing I want to show you is how to search for a podcast. If you just tap on search, and you go up to the little space up here where it says all podcasts, Maybe you type in business and click search. And now all of the podcasts related to business comes up. And you can choose anything you want to choose. And you can search by any topic that you want. You can maybe search for health. See what kind of podcasts are related to health. And here's a whole bunch of podcasts related to health. And it's a real simple process. All you do is tap on search, put your cursor up in the search bar and type in what you're searching for. And I don't really know the name of a whole lot of podcasts, so I just have to search by topic, like sports. And you can see all of the sports podcasts that are in here. And that's how you search for a podcast. Pretty straightforward. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to actually add a podcast to your library. So we'll go back to search and we'll type in, I don't know, we'll try finances. And we'll see what comes up. And you've got a whole bunch of podcasts here on finances. So we'll try the Dave Ramsey programs. To add that to your library, all you have to do is tap on it and hold and click on follow show. And that's it. Now when you go to your library, there is the Dave Ramsey show. 
and when you tap on it, you can see all of the latest episodes that are on here. If you want to unfollow that, maybe you've got a podcast in here that you just decide you don't listen to very much or you don't like, you can just tap and hold and click on unfollow show. And that's all there is to it. And now you've removed the app from your library. And that's how you unfollow a podcast. The next thing I want to show you is how to save a podcast for later listening. So we're going to go back to Dave Ramsey. I'm going to hold on it and I'm going to follow it. And then I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to look up all of the episodes that he has here. Maybe this one right here is what I want to listen to later. So I'm going to tap on this little three dots right there and I'm going to click on download episode and you'll get a little purple icon there that shows that it's downloaded. And now if you go over to downloaded, here is that episode that I just downloaded and you can listen to it at any time you want. And it's very simple. Sometimes you have podcasts that you want to save for a long time. You don't want to just listen to them and move on to the next podcast. And this is a great way to do that. And that's how you download a podcast for later listening. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how to manage the settings for each podcast. So if we go back to my library and we go back to my shows and we see the Dave Ramsey show, if you just tap and hold on that and you can go to settings right here, you get a bunch of choices. You can actually follow or unfollow the podcast here. You can get notifications here. Your iPad will actually pop up a notification that a new episode has been is now available. You can leave that on. You can sort them from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. You can hide played episodes. So you'll notice over time, if, if podcasters put out a podcast every week, and after a year, you've got 52 podcasts in there, you might not want to see all of those. It can get cluttered. So you can turn on hide played episodes. You can turn that on, and now they don't show up in your library. You can set up automatic downloads to where it automatically downloads the podcast. But you can limit the number of downloads, too, to just the most recent or the two most recent or one day, one week, two weeks, or a month. I typically just put the most recent. Because if I miss one, I just miss it. I don't care most of the time. But that's up to you. You can choose whatever you want. And then you can put remove played downloads. And that way you don't use up all of the storage space on your iPad. Uh, and I just leave that on. And that way, once I've listen, listened to the podcast, it, it gets deleted. But if I want to save that podcast, I just download it over there. And once you have all of the settings to your liking, then you just tap done. And that's it. And that's how you manage the settings for each podcast. You know, podcasts are a great form of not only audio entertainment, but also a great learning tool. I guarantee a simple search will reveal just about any topic you're interested in. And though I didn't cover it in today's video, listening to your podcast using these beautiful AirPods just can't be beat. Well, I hope you learned a few things about the podcast app and will dive in and give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if that's you. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.